Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today I will show you how to use and calibrate the Cortex Breath by Breath Gas Analyzer. We will show you how to calibrate it on the software and how to perform a basic CPET test. So for that I will need the 3 litre calibration syringe and the gas canister of known volume and concentration. So let's get into it now. So before we actually perform a test, we need to calibrate the machine. So if you click on this MSS Toolbox, stands for Metasoft Studio Toolbox, and then click Calibration, and then Calibration again. And first of all, calibrate the barometric pressure. And you can get the barometric pressure from any sort of weather app, so you pop it in there and click Calibrate. And then when that's done, you'll see the offset measure underneath. that's been done so now we need to calibrate the gas sensor so I'd like to put the gas line just across the top of the monitor so it's away from any breathing and then click start calibration step one and that will now draw gas into the machine it can take a couple of moments So that's now done, you'll see the measurement of gas one finished, so we know that's been done successfully. So before we start calibration step two, we need to take the gas line, pop it into the end of the canister, like that. And then we can click start calibration step two. And that will now draw gas into the machine from the gas canister. And you'll see where it says gas two, cortex calibration gas, and then the values of uh, oxygen and CO2, which is drawing in. Again, this can take a minute or so to register. And you'll see when that finishes, you'll see the calibration values underneath with a factor and offset and it says successful. So now we need to start the flow sensor calibration. So I'd like to take the gas line and then pop that into the end of the turbine. So that little slot there and then we pop the turbine into the end of the calibration syringe. And what you're looking for is you need to fully extend the syringe out and then plunge it back in. You need to hear the knock at the end of each stroke. That's quite important. So you can click start calibration measurement now and then you'll draw the air in and out of the syringe. You'll see that the red line is moving up and down as you pull it in and out and you need to get the line or you need to get the syringe fully in and out in between the two blue bars can take a little bit of getting used to. But you'll see that when the machine likes the stroke, it'll uh, register it under the registered strokes banner, and the machine needs five of those strokes to calibrate the machine. And when that's all done, you'll see calibration successful, and then the values and the factors. So we've got the calibration successful for the flow sensor, the gas sensor, we've done the pressure as well. So if you just click transfer, and that's what sort of locks those values in and then you can click exit, and that's the calibration done. So to perform a basic test, make sure that the gas line is connected to the turbine and the turbine um, is in the mask on your participant, and then select the Metasoft Studio software. So we'll just double click on there, that'll bring us into the software, and we'll just use a test participant today, but you could click new participant at the top, um, and just put the details in, but we've got UOS Basic CPET, select our test subject and click next in the bottom left. I'll take it to the screen where we can make sure the name's correct, the height, weight, date of birth, and make sure you select the correct size mask. Click next. And this will bring us into our test protocol, so we can select the test which has previously been created, or any of the tabs across the top, we can make our own test. But we'll just select any test today, it doesn't it's not important for this uh, sort of tutorial. And then we'll click device configuration on the right hand side and make sure that the Cosmos Mercury treadmill is selected. And we can click check, check connection and make sure the little green span is shown up. We'll get a little error message there, just, that just means that the bike isn't selected but we're not using that, so that's fine. And then you can select the sensor adjustment. And this will just bring in ambient air like you do during calibration. Um, if you've previously just performed a calibration, you don't actually need to do this step, you can just skip past it. But this is if we haven't performed the calibration today. So this will just bring in air in. 
So once that's done, that will say sensor adjustment successful. So you can go to the bottom left hand corner and select next. So that brings us to the nine plot panel. So under view, you can select this little box on workload control heart rate. It brings us up to this view so you can view the um, protocol and you've got the controls on the left hand side. Start, stop, skip to recovery, etc. So there are the basics on how to use the Cortex Breath by Breath Gas Analyzer. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. Even better, subscribe for more videos. See you in the next one.